Hey, how you doing? This is Marcel from LessonsWithMarcel.com. Today we're going to talk about... So, here's a way to climb the neck that appears in a lot of country music. It uses the pentatonic scale, but not the shapes that you're used to. Um, we're going to do it in the key of E today, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find four E root notes uh, in ascending octaves. And you'll be able to see that because of the way all these notes lay out, this might not be quite as useful in certain keys. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take two of our E root notes and we're going to build one octave of the E major pentatonic between them. You'll see that our pentatonic notes are going to appear in red. They'll be two and four on your low E string and two and four on your A string. And that'll make that big dipper shape. That shape's going to appear throughout this lesson. All right, so let's do that same thing again. Let's take our next two E root notes. Let's build another octave of the E major pentatonic scale. Now, you'll see that the Big Dipper shape looks exactly the same, but our next root note, our next E note, it happens in a different place, and that has to do with the tuning of our B string. To finish our run, let's take our last two E note roots, and let's build our last octave of the E major pentatonic. Now you see our red notes appear in the same place, we get that same Big Dipper shape, but our very last root note happens up the neck, up to the 12th fret on our high E string there. So make sure when you play this that you hit that note cleanly, because it can be a bit of a stretch. All right, now at this point, we can take all those little things that we did, we can combine them all into this giant pentatonic scale. So what you want to do with this now is you want to improvise throughout. You want to ascend, you want to descend, you want to go halfway through it and then use that position of the pentatonic to improvise. You want to maybe start off in a pentatonic position and then use this shape to descend out of it. You can do anything with it, you just got to really get it in your head and try it over and over again. Now for extra credit, what you can do is you can take this scale and you can add in some appropriate blue notes like the flat seven and the flat third. And you'll see that those will always appear in the same places in our Big Dipper shape. And we can use that to improvise freely and sound very bluesy and do whatever we want with this scale. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, please like, please leave a comment, please do all of those things. If you need more content, you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Lessons with Marcel. And of course, I highly recommend you check out my website, LessonsWithMarcel.com. It has tons of content for learning how to play bluegrass guitar, country guitar, a little bit of swing, a little bit of blues. I do my best. Um, but hopefully I'll see you there. Have a nice day.